Hi, this is Marius with the ERA. In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in this Lenovo ThinkPad E570. Looks like a powerful machine. Sixth generation Intel i7 processor. Looks like it has a discrete graphics card. It's a very nice machine. So we're just going to connect it to power, turn it on, see what we've got. This is a little different. When it powers on, to interrupt startup, press enter. We can just hit enter and then we've got a bunch of options here. One of them is to enter BIOS, press F1. Another one is to choose a temporary startup, etc. So 8 GB of RAM, that's good. Let's go to the startup and boot. And it looks like we have a hard drive and it's 250 GB. All right, let's open it up, power it off, disconnect the power adapter. This battery comes out very easily, a couple of tabs and then slide, just like that. There's a sticker on this side of the back cover, we're going to remove that. So there's two screws here. So this is a bit different than the ones in our previous videos. So this is DDR4 RAM, significantly faster than the DDR3 we've seen in older machines. There's two slots, so technically it can support 32 gigs. For now, 8 GB of DDR4 is enough for this machine. This empty space near the RAM is for an M.2 SATA SSD, and you've got the hard drive there on the other side. There is no hard drive caddy on this unit. The hard drive is secured by a set of tabs on the back panel. We're gonna slide this hard drive like so to disconnect and remove it. So here's the solid state. We're just gonna connect it right here, 128 gigabytes. These right here are the tabs that secure the hard drive. Close the back panel like this, it'll hold the SSD snug. Put the battery back. So we're gonna go back to the BIOS, enter, then F1. Now let's see what we did here. And then we go to startup tab and boot. And yes, we can see the SSD. It's 128 gigabytes. So we're good. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you and we'll talk to you again soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll have more tutorial videos for you soon.